to have the livestock auction. We had a pretty decent cake auction the other night up there. And, and if you're interested in buying uh, any kind of livestock, uh, eggs, chickens, anything we got, just make sure you got yourself a number registered there and come on in here and have a seat. Yes, Cindy, we don't want to miss anybody. All right, now we're going to move on to Wyatt's Reserve Grand Champion Meat Bird Pair. Each broiler weighs about nine pounds, and again, he will process them and contact the buyer for delivery. So we're going to get him set up here. Hey, on the reserves right there, folks. Hey, 200 on them. Let's go. 200 bucks on them. Hundred dollars. Let's go. Hundred and a quarter. Hundred and a quarter. Hundred on the back. Quarter maker. One half. One half. One half. One half. One set of bananas. Set of bananas. Set of bananas. Set of bananas. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Two hundred. Let's get two and a quarter. Two and a half. Two and a half here. Two and a half. Two and a half square. Two and a half. Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Two seventy five. Now three, 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 three hundred back there. Three hundred back there. Two, three, 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 three and a quarter. Three and a quarter there. Three, three, three and a quarter there. I am three hundred. Three and a quarter. Big and back. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. I'm three quarter, three fifty. Three quarter, I'm gonna get the two and a half back here, and fifty there, fifty there, three quarter, three fifty back here, and fifty. Three quarter, fifty there, fifty there, and three quarter, three fifty. So we're three quarter right there. One eighty nine gets it. One eighty nine. Yes, sir. Give them a hand there, folks. Yeah, betcha. Buyer 189 Interactive Consulting, Mr. Rick Lawrence. Thank you. If you'll make your way over here to the picture backdrop, you can have your picture taken with Wyatt. We're moving on to lot three. We have Miss Emily Kemp with her meat turkey, and she has the grand champion meat turkey. Hey, grand champion meat turkey right there. $300 on him. Three, 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 and about one there. 200, let's go. $200 on him. Two, got two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a quarter there. Tell everybody to get two and a quarter, anybody. I have two, two and a quarter on a turkey. Two, I thought everybody to get two and a quarter. Is that for me back here? Two and a quarter, let's go. I have 200, two and a quarter. Two, I thought everybody to get two and a quarter, two and a quarter there. But worth that, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, huh? Two, 75 and 75 and 75 back here at 75. Two, 75 and now three. Three hundred, everybody get three and a quarter, three and a quarter, three and a quarter there. We got three, three, three and a quarter there. I have 300, three and a quarter, one in again and three and a quarter. I have 300, everybody got three and a quarter there. Three, three, three and a quarter to do it. I have Three, 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 four, zero, three, and everybody got three, and four, three, and four, zero, three, and everybody got three, and four, three, and four, zero, 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 three, it's a yearly thing for us. We love to do it for the kids. It supports the kids in the community, and that's the reason why we do it every year. It teaches these kids responsibility. They have to uh, take care of that animal, and they have to show it. They have to feed it and keep it clean and do all the things that are necessary. So it's a great way for these kids to learn responsibility. I am showing pigs and sheep. I have a Duroc who weighs 256 and a Hampshire Suffolk cross sheep who weighs 146. I sold my pig and he went for $4 a pound. So that's about $1,000. Um, I'm hoping to do pretty well with my sheep. He's really early on in the sale, so I'm hoping for about $275. That's, sheep usually don't go as much as pigs, so I'm hoping for a good number. Um, some of the challenges involved include getting your animal to make weight, especially when it's so hot during the summer. Pigs especially, they don't like to eat when it's hot, so sometimes we have to force feed them and make sure that they're getting up. We have to stand outside with them. For sheep, it's very hard to get them tame because they are their own mind. They are not the nicest animals, so it's very hard to get your animal to cooperate. Um, I like that kids get to walk around and talk to people that they've never talked before and that these adults come out for everyone and they support us each and every year and it's really why we can have our fair every year. I like personally the indoor exhibits as well. I like that there's something for everyone. 4-H isn't just about ag kids coming out to show their animals. It's about the little clover who can finally enter that woodworking, that little birdhouse, and then the last year senior who gets to sell their last year animal. So it has everything for everyone. Okay, as a former 4-H'er since I was 11, uh showed at this fair for years. Uh, I've been a past uh, Mr. 4-H in the county. Uh, I've been involved, yeah, uh, 
been involved with this fair for uh, 50 years now. So uh, this is a very valuable learning experience for all 4-H kids, all FFA students. I was an FFA advisor at North Carroll High School for uh, 38 years, and um, I can't explain, uh, I guess, the power that this uh, influence the 4-H and FFA fair has on students. This sale brings in a tremendous amount of money for these kids. They put a lot of money, a lot of sweat and tears into their projects, and this is kind of the... Uh, uh, end of this project for them, but this is where we need to support all the students. I had no idea I was with Mr. 4-H, but uh, apparently I am. This is Carroll County, so the 4-H Fair is a culmination of an awful lot of hard work, um, seeing an awful lot of people that we know. Purchased, we just purchased a pig together, so we'll have to split that up and, and, and get it to, to our houses. But this is what Carroll County is about. It supports the kids and it supports the agricultural community, and that's what it's all about. So we're proud to be here. This is an annual event that we come to all the time. So uh, um, Mr. Weaver, like I said, he's, uh, he's Mr. Agricultural in, in and of itself. He's done just about everything. I walk around with him, and there's nobody he doesn't know. He's like Santa Claus, so everybody's hanging off of him. But a uh, great event. This is what Carroll County's about. It should be supported the way it is. Well, a lot of times um, we know who's raised that pig and how it's been raised. So we got to take, we got our eye on it. And a lot of them do well in the show. So uh, um, if you can get a hold of a good pig like that, which I believe we did, um, we're going to bid on it. So that's we came together and decided this is what we would bid on and uh, on this particular pig. We had our eye on a couple other ones, but this is the one we liked, and we're lucky we got it. Yeah, Courtney's a really good 4-H'er, and I was impressed with the way she fed her pig, the way the pig looks. We're going to wind up eating this, so I want it fed correctly. And uh, she, she did a tremendous job, and she just happened to be one that uh, came through the ring, and we, we could afford.